thrown into a tar pit and left to die these two puppies were inches away from death Two dogs have an airsoft group in Chile to thank for saving their lives after they were rescued from certain death The group found these puppies submerged in a tar pit located about 10 kilometers from Antofagasta, Chile These dogs who had been left to face certain death know the extent of human cruelty However, thanks to their saviors human kindness prevailed in saving them Even after the group rushed the dogs to the local veterinary clinic No one was certain whether they'd survived the exposure to toxins in the tar The Axis airsoft group of Antoga Foss, Chile were suited up and ready to start shooting when they heard strange cries coming from nearby And so they decided to investigate What they found was an incredibly shocking sight when they got to the site they found two dogs that were sinking fast and they were completely soaked in thick sticky tar and were struggling to breathe They realized when they got to the scene that the dogs had been thrown in by some horrible person They were discouraged to know that someone had been capable of such cruelty The group realized that they had to act fast to save the dog's life since it seems like they didn't have much time The pups were almost completely submerged and they were sinking fast the first thing that the players thought to do was to pull the canines out using a rope Unfortunately that idea didn't work very well at all the sticky tar was pulling the dogs down at such a fast rate It seemed almost impossible to lift the dogs up The dogs were then crying in pain from the tension of the rope against the tar the players then decided a change of plan was necessary The players began looking around for materials to use to pull the dogs from the tar some of the rescuers kept the rope on the dogs loosely to keep them from sinking to the bottom Another rescuer began using a plank of wood to try to create a bridge from them to the dogs Then they used the long wooden plank to try pushing the dogs up to the top The dogs were dog paddling to try and stay afloat amongst the sticky tar The rescuers knew that if they tried to just walk in towards the dogs, they'd become caught in the tar themselves They looked around for other materials again and found a tire they used the tire as a platform to get to the other dog the tar was so thick it began sucking the tire underneath as well The group realized this would be a team effort One of the players had to sink down in order to get enough leverage to perhaps rope the dogs in The other rescuers were behind him pulling on his belt and clothing to make sure he wouldn't be sucked into the black tar At this point the tar was almost all the way over the second dog's head Finally the team member closest to the pit is able to grab a hold of one of the dogs as the rescuer attempted to pull the dog out The dog began to resist because it was so painful The tar began to act like glue pulling the dog down very hard The dog let out a loud yelp from pain and snapped at his rescuer forcing him to stop The team had failed to get the dogs out using rope and their hands, but with no avail They knew they needed to change their strategy once more their new plan was to push the dogs to the shoreline with some help from the team the dogs were trying very hard to swim to the edge These two little puppies may look still but underneath the tar They're frantically moving their tiny paws to try and save their own lives They were swimming unbelievably hard with their saviors cheering them on the entire time When the puppies are pulled to the shoreline their thick black glossy coating makes them look almost statuesque one canine has found his feet at the edge of the dirt as the team reach out for the second Finally getting out the poor puppy breathes a sigh of relief, but he's not out of the woods yet once exposed to air The tar can dry rapidly leading to extreme health problems Realizing this the team begins frantically trying to scrape the tar off the puppies as much as possible with their bare hands They work as quickly as humanly possible One of the puppies attempts to wag his tail in his appreciation of the saviors, but the thickness of the tar makes it difficult the team members try to take the tar off the pups, but the tar begins to stick and dry to the dog's fur Two of the airsoft players take turns pulling clumps of back tar off one of the puppies Although one of them began to move immediately after being removed from the tar the other seems to freeze almost seeming traumatized from his near-death experience The team made sure to pet and console the pups while they were cleaning them off However, the tar was so thick that the puppy probably couldn't feel the pets of encouragement under all the thick sticky tar It's important to remember that tar is an incredibly dangerous substance if you recall There are tar pits in Los Angeles and the most common bones that were found in these tar pits were ones of dire wolves The theory of the tar pits is that the big carnivores who saw animals caught in the tar pits were easy prey however instead of getting a free meal a dire wolf would try to attack a mired creature and become trapped itself.
Once the group was able to get at least some of the tar off the pups, they knew time was absolutely of the essence, and so they brought the pups to get veterinary care as soon as possible. They brought the dogs to Gatos Abandonados Antofagasta, a veterinary hospital in Chile. Well, at the hospital, the staff and volunteers worked feverishly to remove the rest of the tar from the exhausted pups. As awful as the situation was for the two pups, it turns out that they were some of the lucky ones. When animal rescuers ventured back to the area where they were found, they were horrified to discover the bodies of six dead dogs in another nearby tar pit. In fact, it's estimated two and a half million dogs that are homeless in Chile today. Many people who travel to Chile are confused and mystified by the amount of canines that are seen wandering the streets. While most people who travel there feel sorry for them or even try to help them, many who live there consider them pests to be dealt with. They're often hunted or killed. They put the tar-covered puppies into a tiled bathroom and set up five-gallon buckets to begin the process of cleaning them up. All the tar needed to be cleared off the dogs as soon as possible in order to minimize the effects on the dogs health like blindness and respiratory distress The dogs began to look much better although they still looked pitch black the majority of the sticky gooey tar was already removed Slowly the real looks of the dogs were revealed ridding the dogs of the tar was an extremely messy process the volunteers themselves ended up covered in tar once the two puppies have been cleaned off. They were no longer identical. They're well on their way to becoming two clean happy puppies One of the dogs turned out to be a male and under his black tar coat had the famous brown and black coloring of a German Shepherd He was given the name of a famous knight Lancelot which seemed incredibly fitting for his bravery The other dog in tar turned out to be female She had a lighter tan coloring and it seemed as though she almost had Labrador retriever mixed in with some German Shepherd as well the rescuers named this little girl Leica Once Lancelot and Leica were cleaned up the team were incredibly hopeful that the dogs wouldn't have any complications from being in the tar Which can obviously cause many health problems It turned out that these young pups actually had even worse health issues to contend with The veterinarians discovered that both the young canines had contracted canine distemper Canine distemper is a contagious and viral disease that can cause respiratory issues gastrointestinal and other problems There's no cure for the disease and the infected dogs usually require a lot of care For example if the dogs are vomiting continuously they may need to have fluids administered to combat dehydration Once the dogs were able to fight off the canine distemper and recovered from the traumatizing ordeal in the tar pit it was time for these guys to find duo homes, a place where they'd never have to worry about being thrown into a tar pit again. The two dogs have a new lease on life, but they still face many dangers. Before they could go to these new homes, they had to be observed for a while to make sure there weren't any other health-related issues due to the tar. In the end, they decided to keep the tar that came off both pups. Below are the containers filled with all the gooey substance that came off the pups. As you can guess, they're incredibly lucky that they didn't suffer from anything worse. That's a lot of tar to be on two little pups. Once the dogs were cleared to find a forever home, the animal shelter took the very photogenic pups for a television appearance. Everyone was amazed to see how calm and well-behaved the pups were, even after the ordeal that they'd both been through. The rescue was hoping that someone would turn on their television and fall in love with the pups like they had. It was also hoped that the pair would be adopted as a pair seeing as they'd gone through so much together Since they'd both been through the same traumatizing ordeal. It only made sense that they should spend the rest of their lives with one another After the rescuers found the other bodies in the tar pit an investigation ensued It was suspected someone threw the dogs into the pits and since then officials also worked on spreading awareness to Chileans about animal abuse Animal cruelty is a terrible thing it's only because of the heroic acts of the airsoft team that heard their cries for help that these puppies lived another day. Leica and Lancelot made many appearances at local events on behalf of the shelter and to raise awareness of canine abuse. Not surprisingly, these two beautiful dogs were scooped up by an incredibly loving home. As terrifying and painful as their experience was in the tar pit, their lives took a turn for the better the day that the team saved their lives. Now they no longer have to wander the streets in search of food or shelter. Unfortunately, though, there are dogs in Chile who are still treated horribly by the humans in Chile. In March of 2016, another dog in a tar pit was rescued in Antofagasta. A father and son happened to come across this poor dog, and they were able to free it from the tar. 
The father and son then took the dog to the clinic veterinaria puppies where the staff members cleaned the tar off the pup This story like Lake and Lancelot had a very happy ending as the family who rescued him adopted him Currently Chile is trying to work on a fix for their stray dog problem in 2014 the president announced that they'd be launching a national sterilization program for the stray dogs to the relief of the people who love the dogs Chile said that it would not kill or injure the stray dogs as part of the program hopefully one day this program will reduce the number of strays.